focus on challenges. It's one of the competence from EntreComp framework, from the area of ideas and opportunities, and more from spotting opportunities. But before I start, I will tell you the story. When NASA began the launch of astronauts into space, they discovered that pen cannot work without gravity. The ink won't flow on the surface of the paper without gravity. So it took them a decade and over $12 million to create a new pen which didn't use uh, uh, gravity to, to work. And what did Russians? They started to use pencil instead of pen. And the conclusion is that we should focus on the solution, not on a problem. But how to do it? What's the problem? To focus on challenges, you have to use your qualities, your capacity to recognize opportunities and challenges well and turn them into action and to create a new values. But it's not so easy. We usually, and young people usually, focus on the problems, not on the solution. They don't have enough experience, don't have enough knowledge and skills to recognize challenges and needs well. And they always, nearly always, they want to do everything by themselves, at once, without any help. And it's very difficult. It's easier when you have support. It's easier when you don't have all, resp all responsibility on you. So how to help the young people to do this? How to resolve the problem? At the school practice, which is very important for me because I'm a teacher, we should offer young people more practical exercises. And when they take more practical exercises, they will know how to resolve the problem, they will know how to put ideas into action, even in everyday life. The second thing is that we should encourage them to work in groups as often as possible. Because when you work in group and when you take a different role in a group, you can get more experience, you can get more different skills and you can learn how to take responsibility and how to share responsibility, which is very important. But what to do in everyday day life outside the school? You can play games, role-playing games. And I have the example, the Polish one, uh, the game which is called Witcher. It is, I think it's well known all across the world because it's the game uh, which was produced by Polish company CD Projekt, it's a well-known company, and it's based on the novel series by Andrzej Sapkowski, he's a very popular writer, and you can also watch film, you can also watch TV series by Netflix, and you can even play board game, but it's not the same as a computer uh, or console game. And the game will take you into the world of mysterious world, medieval world of uh, Geralt of Rivia. He is the main character of the, of the game. You can take all his challenges, you can take his adventures, and you can feel like a hero when helping people. But you can also get all his, you can feel the consequences of his decisions, which is very important. Uh, especially for responsibility, of taking responsibility. And how it solves our problem? Uh, we will get more experience, we will get more skills, we will learn how to take responsibility, and we will learn how to put the idea into action in everyday life, in every situation. And what can we gain? Cooperation with other give us more experience. And we are going to focus on the solutions, not on the problems. Because we are, all, we are always get what we focus on. So, read more and play the game and we'll see.
Thank you.